you to lick his ass. Excuse me? To lick his Yeah. I would not fuck him or like I wouldn't do that. <laughs> what do you think about it? You need to hurry up. <laughs> Personally, <laughs> I'm afraid. I think I'd probably do a back rolly polio. <laughs> what? So how do you feel about a female going there and licking your ass? I would. I had that experience plenty of times before. Um, I wouldn't prefer it, but I mean, if you actually are down there doing it and you accidentally, you know, go across my ass or something like that, I let that because I'm not gay. You know what I'm saying? I think that's gay, but I mean, across that, then. Yeah. Okay. I would. That'll be a H no. <laughs> I would definitely have to say no. Because I'm not gay. You know what I'm saying? I think that's gay. I don't mind saying it. It's just I have my uh, own standards. Yeah. I call my own shots. So. so 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 if she went down and just went all the way down and just went there, like what would happen? I don't know if I feel comfortable with this point. Do you like do you like do you enjoy having your butt like? I have before and yes, and it's weird. It's I would weird. Not, I do not decline. <laughs> But I don't want to kiss after that. I think there's a certain point where you just feel like you should stop. You know, I mean, it's like certain sexual acts you should. Just yeah, do. after a while, it's like I don't think you should just go to the ass. I think that's an area where you should definitely ask first. Like, so ask know? for the ass. Like that should be like a conversation prior. You guys are discussing some other sexual activity. Then you can probably break up the ass. But you don't just venture back there without permission. Because I'm not gay, you know what I'm saying? I think that's gay, but I mean, if she did it, you know, two or times, two or three times, then okay, I'll let her slide. But I mean, if she did it on a constant basis, no, you gotta stop that, baby. What are some characteristics of an ain't shit nigga? Like a nigga who ain't shit? Shamir, you have to join in on this one. Sorry, what? What are characteristics of an ain't shit nigga? Of a what? A nigga who ain't shit. The man that can't decide if he is a son or a father. Is he still attached to his mother or does he want you to be his new mother? Shabia, you have to say something. You have to speak up. There's so many characteristics or people that think that you're a gold digger if you expect a man to pay for dinner that he invited you out to. If you, if you, thank you. If you invite me to dinner, yes, you will pay. Yes, you will. And I will not pay water. trying to live, you know? True story. That's a direct quote. Yes. <laughs> direct quote. I'm just, trying, I'm just trying to live, you know? Day by day. It's big, yeah. Goals and just disrespectful. You ain't shit if you ain't got it. Yeah, what is it? He's shit. He's like, she just don't care. He just try to do it. Get whoever. It doesn't matter. He don't have feelings for you. And he just pretend that he does, but he doesn't. He just uh, all around. Nigga. Have you ever dealt with an ain't shit nigga before? Yes. What made him an ain't shit nigga? Because he lied and he cheated and he just made me believe something and it wasn't that. He was just a liar, basically. Mm. He shouldn't lie to somebody as beautiful as you. Oh, thank you. 